Hello everyone, Counter Spell Hater here, back with another EDH guide. We're just gonna get straight into it with uh, Daxos the Return. Uh, so this is a black white enchantment stack, uh, as you may or may not know. And before we get into the video, please like and subscribe. And if you're and as you're commenting, if you're the first comment, then uh, suggest the name of command that, that you want to see that has not already been seen on the channel, or if you just want like a, like other content, so like video games like Fallout 4, uh, Magic the Gathering Arena, let me know as you're commenting, and I will definitely dedicate future episodes to that. If you guys, if you guys want uh, like generally like new uh, content in general, uh, as you are waiting. For uh, for like new uh, commander cards, uh, let me know and I will get to it right away. I will not hesitate. Uh, anyways, um, I that is it. So now uh, let's get into it. Uh, I know this is a bit out of date. Uh, there are some cards that they could definitely replace the card seen in here. Land tax is not one card that can be replaced. This is Mostly necessary in most white decks because uh, white cannot ramp for its life's sake. Underworld Dreams, however, can be replaced by something with uh, like uh, the new uh, mythic rare white man enchantment from uh, Innistrad Crimson Bow. I forgot the name of it. Feast of the Fallen um, for when our opponents lose life. Waste not, uh, give us mana, make us some creatures, and draw some cards. Calls to the grave to whittle down boards. Fallen ideal. Excuse me. Uh, just to buff up one of our creatures. <laughs> um, Dark Prophecy, draw some more cards. Polluted Bonds. Uh, Drain, drain our opponents and give us some life. Doom Wake, giant for one enchantment, enter, our, enter the battlefield under our control. Tainted Remedy, uh, help us gain even more life. Dreadbringer Lamb Pads, uh, make our make the creatures that our uh, commander can create uh, even harder to block. Grim Guardian. Uh, Drain our opponents, Raiders Wake, uh, Drain Players of Life as we attack. Bitter Blossom to draw, uh, to create some tokens, not draw us cards uh, uh, at, a call, at the cost of some life. Debtors Kneel uh, to give us some powerful options via the graveyard. Uh, exquisite blood for when our opponents lose life. Sanguine blood for when we gain life. Ethereal absolution to get rid of some scary cards and graveyards that could be the targets of reanimation spells uh, to what to kind of uh, minimize the the effectiveness of our opponent's creatures and buff up our own board all at the same time. Some other ties for mana fixing. Annotated position to double up token creation under our control, of course. Bad Moon to buff up our uh, creatures, our black creatures. Moon Reflection uh, to uh, speed up uh, the process in which our opponents are losing life. Uh, essentially, kind of more, more really than anything to seal up the game. Because our creatures can get really big really fast. Underworld Coinsmith uh, to help us gain life. And then we can pay that life that we gain to uh, drain our opponents. Radiant Destiny. Uh, we have only like one creature we're probably going to be uh, creating. And that is, I believe, Spirit, if I'm correct. Yep. A white and black spirit creature token is what he is what Daxos here creates. 
So, so you name spirit, and uh, as long as you have the city's blessing, they'd also have vigilance in addition to their plus one. Plus one. Uh, and the scent is going to be pretty easy. Court of ambition to really whittle down our opponent's, our opponent's resources uh, in a sense of life and uh, cards in hand and to give us more resources. Uh, palace siege um, to either help us like reanimate stuff or more likely than anything, uh, speed up the drain uh, of our opponent's life. Liliana's caress uh, for when our opponents discard cards. Revel in witches, which is revel in riches as more than one condition. And maybe man fixing. Dawn of hope uh, for when we gain life and can also create us some tokens. If we don't have any or aren't able to with our commander. Uh, light minefield. Uh, really can uh, keep our op opponents away from us and, and keep them from attacking entirely because their creatures make it destroyed. Uh, sphere of safety uh, to protect us. Iliad Sun Crown uh, for when we gain life and to give our, some of our creatures a life link. Blind Obedience uh, can really uh, help us steal the game. Steal the game, I guess I, could, I should say. Because uh, it kind of uh, narrows down our opponent's options when it comes to blocking. Maybe in some cases. Starfield of Nyx uh, can really uh, put us ahead by make, turning our enchantments that we have cast into creatures. Heliod, uh, God of the Sun, to make us some tokens and give our creatures vigilance. Honor of the Pure to buff up our white creatures. Or of Silence, uh, kind of make it harder for our our opponents to deal with us. And this can also deal with an, with an artifact or an enchantment. True conviction uh, to give our creatures double strike and life link. So closing out the game, most likely at that point. Authority of the councils. Uh, once again, their opponents down uh, when it comes to blocking our op their, well, their options. And also uh, punish them for playing, playing creatures by giving us life. Uh, so, kind of sealing the fate of the game early in the early game. Uh, Felidar retreat so we can take advantage of our land drops because in white we take everything we can get. To, so, in this case, it's either we create tokens or we buff up our entire board and give them vigilance until I'm at the end of that turn. Ghostly prison. Uh, Keep people away from us. Okay. Ley line of sanctuary uh, to give us hex proof. So make it hard, make it hard to make it harder for our opponents to kill us and even deal with us. Uh, Cathar's crusade to buff up our board. Campaign of vengeance for when we attack. Duelist heritage uh, <clears throat> to give something double strike when it attacks. A Johnny's welcome for life gain. Retreat to Hagra uh, to give some of our creatures death touch and drain our opponents as we play lands. Celestial Ancient um, to buff up our entire board. This is a really good creature to do that because it buffs up our entire board with plus one plus one counters whenever we cast an enchantment spell. This is what this deck is all about. Greater Oramans, Nancy, uh, other enchantments you control. Have shroud and chain creatures you control a shroud so this keeps our enchantments safe shroud is different from hexproof in case you don't know shroud means that you and your opponents cannot target with spells and or abilities hexproof is just your opponents and not you <clears throat> that's the difference so that does answer the question that yes hexproof most of the time is better misa enchantress uh to give us some card draw Archon of Sun's Grace 
to make us an army. And then we have our lands. Sarah's Sanctum, since we're playing so many enchantments. Blackstones of Tro Trocare. Uh, to ramp us. This this kind of is sad that white needs a le that white players need a legendary land in order to like get a plains directly onto the battlefield. I mean, come on, wizards, can we give white a little bit better ramp? Uh, mirror in the moaning well, uh, help us gain life. Isolated watchtower, since we're white players, we can't ramp to save our lives. Direction tower, and then a deal ramp. Current special for proliferation of the counters, so the experienced counters and the pulse, pulse counters and other counters. Uh, thawing glitchers, more land. Feeded heath for kind of mana fixing and then planes and swamps of light. And with that, the end of this commander guide, starring Daxos the Returned. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this EDH guide. If you did, please like and subscribe. We're at 24 subscribers. I'd like to get to 25 and even keep going upward. Uh, please like this video. Not many. I don't think anyone has done that here lately. Yeah, no. Uh, I encourage it. Shows me how much you care. I love all your support. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Thank you to the 24 who've been supporting me up to this point. Uh, oh, in the comments, keep giving me good feedback on what I'm doing good. Uh, and if you're the first one, you know the deal. I, I will uphold my end of the bargain. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you first one in the comments, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, uh, then I then as you are commenting, you can type in the name of the commander you want to see next if it hasn't already been seen on this channel. And I will dedicate a future episode to such commander. Uh, oh, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you don't miss more of this content. And uh, share this video along with other videos on my channel with other people. That said, goodbye.